Listen, as an American, an American, there's nothing that I love more than a fry from France. They don't really have French fries in France, do they? It's the U.S. made that. Oh, well, it's France. It's not France. It's the, it's the United States marketing. But today, I would like to consider myself a connoisseur, if you will, of French fries. I love them. I taste them and I go, mm, 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 mm. my favorite of the bunch, and this is controversial, which it shouldn't be because they are kind of the best. Sweet potato fries are the best fries. Anyway, what am I doing? I'm going to get all of the french fries that I can. I'm going to go to the local fast food chains around my area and I'm going to get the french fries and I'm going to eat them and I'm going to tell you which ones are good, which ones are bad, and which ones you can just are fine. <laughs> I am going to go everywhere that I can. I have a peanut allergy. There's a lot of places I can't go. So I don't want to see people being like, oh, but what about five guys? I can't go there. They have peanuts there. So I'm going to go to all the places that I can go. So let's go. First place first is the classic McDonald's. Now, I do want to say before we get started that I'm going to order these and I'm going to eat them immediately. I'm not going to go to all the places and gather up all the fries and go back to back to back. I want the fries to be enjoyed and to be tasted in the, in the way that God wants them to be, which is fresh out of the fryer. You know, I think it's unfair to judge them in a cold state. So, let's go. Oh, baby, I can put this on the business card. Cause this is a video. <laughs> Just the perks of being a YouTuber, you know? Eating some ass. Eating some ass. You ever eat some ass real quick? Just really quickly. Okay, where to now? First of all, I'm gonna take this Tropic Sprite and I'm gonna put it in my ass. Cause it's so fucking good. <laughs> uh, how come? The McDonald's Sprite, specifically the Tropical Sprite. How come it hits so fucking good? Good thing I have white seats, if you know what I'm saying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so let's see, this is a classic fry, all right? Seasoning is all right. Gonna be honest with you, these are the on the weaker side of McDonald's fries that I've had. In my opinion, McDonald's has some of the best fast food fries out there, keep in mind. Can't have Five Guys, can't have Chick-fil-A. I don't even know if Chick-fil-A does fries. I personally, and again, this is all my opinion, folks. You can have a different opinion, so don't come crying to me when you're like, Ethan, I think that In-N-Out has the best fries. First of all, if you say that, you're wrong. in and outs fries suck. But this is all my opinion, okay? I wish they were crispier. They're a little flaccid. The thing that I like a lot about Mc... I'm out about Mr. McDonald's fries is how thin they are. I'm not in love with thicker fries. And that's because I like them crispy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, I need to get on to the next location, which conveniently is right around the corner. 12 seconds later, we're already turning in to the great king of burgers. I can't remember the last time I went to Burger King, if I'm being completely honest with you. I think I've been to Burger King like five times in my entire life, literally. Anyway, that's besides the point. What I do remember from Burger King, I remember not liking their fries. I remember them being like wavy or something. I'm not gonna wear my glasses anymore. I just, they're too, there's they're too much to handle with my, with my mask. I'm taking my mask on and off. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> so I'm gonna, God damn it. I'm gonna have to go to In-N-Out. I hate going to In-N-Out. Not because it's not good, because it is good. It's overhyped. Because so many people, when they come to California, and so many people from California are like, In-N-Out is so good. In-N-Out's fantastic. It's fine. It's fast food. Like, it's good. The fries suck, though. But the issue with In-N-Out is not their food. I like their food. I enjoy it a lot. The issue is that everybody wants to go to In-N-Out. So every time you go to In-N-Out, it's like a 45 minute venture because the line is so long every single time. I've never been to an In-N-Out and have waited under 15 minutes in the line. It's a long time. Well, thank you so much. Have a good one. All right. Take this mask off now. I'm gonna drive to the next location and I'm gonna tell you my thoughts on the French fries. Here we go. First fry. It's a thicker French fry than what we're used to with the McDonald's fries, okay? Pleasantly surprised. I realize right now that I never actually rated the McDonald's fries. I just ate them. I am going to put McDonald's fries on, on A tier. I'm very surprised. Personally, Burger King, they're a little bit thicker 
they're by no means thick fries. These are a little bit crispier than the McDonald's fries, which I'm very surprised about. I don't like them as much as a McDonald's fries. That being said, I think I'm going to put them on A tier as well. I like the McDonald's fries more. And again, I think I got a, a shitty batch because I know that the McDonald's fries can and usually are better. But I'm putting them up on A tier, baby. I'm putting them up on A tier. All of my opinions in this video and all of my ratings for the French fries are subject to change, okay? I just wanna make sure that that's clear because I may mix around my ratings throughout the video because I may get a sick thing. My mom's calling me. It could change, BRB. All right, everybody place your bets on how long this line is gonna be. Oh, it's really long. This is going on forever. Forever, it snakes all the way around. This is why I don't come to In-N-Out Burgess. It takes a billion years. I'm only getting french fries. Oh my God. I'm only getting fries and I know that they're gonna be like D tier fries because I don't like their fries. They're sloppy and soggy. Going good, how are you? Doing fantastic, thank you, I can get you started. Uh, can I just get a small fry? <sighs> Waiting in line this whole time just for a small fry, dude? I guess so. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Okay, after 45 years in line, I finally am out. What do we even do now? You know, navigate to a Wendy's. The closest Wendy's is 20 minutes away. All right, well, while we wait for this light, oh, it's in a basket. It's not even in a bag thing, so I can't even hold it up to show you what I'm even dealing with, dude. All right, in and out fries. Actually, these are good. I feel like this whole time I've been like, in and out fries are shit. They usually are. They're usually floppy and soppy and really, really bad. But this time, it's different. These in and out fries are hitting different today, dude. What the f Did they recently change their fries? Literally every time I've had in and out fries, they're just really bad. But these have a new aroma, a new flavor. These are just hitting different. They're crispy. They're seasoned well. What happened in and out I think the person making the fries this round just did a better job. Cause normally they suck. Today's fries are going at S tier. These are the best fries I've had today. But that being said, I know what in and out fries are usually like. And there are usually like D tier fries. I'm having a dilemma where I don't want to give you misinformation and say, hey, in and out has S tier fries, when usually they don't. Usually they have like C or D tier fries. I gotta say, pleasantly surprised with the fries that I've obtained from in and out today. Next up on the, on the docket. I don't know how many more places we're gonna hit. We're going to Wendy's and Jack in the Box. Wendy's, Jack in the Box, that might be it. I don't know, I'll see you in a minute. It's 12 years later, I went to another Wendy's and they were closed, so I had to travel farther down. After this, I think I'm going to do, I'm gonna do Jack in the Box and then maybe Shake Shack if I can find one that has a drive-thru because they're around here, but all of the ones that I know of don't have a drive-thru and I'm not gonna go inside of a restaurant. I have to pee, that Sprite is hitting me. I wonder if everybody thinks that I'm weird because I have a um, passenger seat that's just full of bags. Actually, I know the answer. Nobody cares. Wendy's. It's your time to shine. All right, I think these are the thickest fries so far. Thicker than, thicker than what I'd like. These are C tier. Those are C tier for sure. They lack flavor. They're too fluffy on the inside, but not in an attractive way. And that's how I feel about it. I just, I don't like them. They're very bland. And that's what gets me about them because the crisp and the crunch is pretty decent. But other than that, it just tastes like a potato, but poorly seasoned, very bland. Doesn't make my mouth horny. And I want my mouth to be horny for more. On to the next place, Jack in the Box, potentially the last place, but I don't know. Has this video been fun? Give it a like. All right, we bow to turn in to our final destination. I hope, I hope this video has been funny. It is our final destination. I can't find a Shake Shack near me that has a drive through and I'm not going in a restaurant. So, unfortunately, we won't get Shake Shack fries, which might be a little bit of a shame because from my memory, Shake Shack fries kind of slap. Here we go. The final destination and the final rating 
with the Jack in the Box fries. There's no line here. This is dope, dude. I have to pee so bad, dude. I don't piss all over these fries. I'm passing my own mouth if I can get the chance. All right, we've got in the final phrase in it. The final showdown. They give me two things of fries. They give me two fries and one curly fries. All right, here we go. Here's the normie fries. Wow, these are boiling. <laughs> Let me get one more fry in my mouth before I give you an accurate because my tongue was burned off for a second. So the crisp is subpar. So you're not hearing any crisp. And that's because there really isn't any crisp. They're undercooked. The seasoning is bland. And honestly, I don't like the taste of these potatoes. I don't know if it's the way that they're cut. I don't know what it is, but I don't like the taste of the potatoes themselves. They, s they taste weird. All right, now I got a bonus, which is the curly fry. I definitely fuck with these. Those are really good. It's all in the seasoning, baby. They're seasoned beautifully. They have a brilliant, listen. Mm, cooked wonderfully. The crispiness is on point. Look at this. Look at this hole. <laughs> wow. I can really, I can, I can really do it. These are a brilliant french fry. Now, here's the one thing. I was just judging normal french fries today because there's a lot of other places that had other fries. I just got curly fries at Jack in the Box because I've had them before and they're really good and I kind of just wanted to eat them. So these will not be included in the official fry rating because I think it is unfair. That is why I didn't get animal style fries at In-N-Out because obviously animal style is gonna be so much better than normal french fries because there's so much more to work with. Can't put them on the thing, but I will give them an S tier but Justin take them off because they don't belong there. Because this is, uh, oh, this is Great Gameplay's French fry tier list. Again, I've given you my opinion. It's bland. It's, it's, it tastes weird. It's like rancid. I am putting them at a D. Final scores here. At a D, we have the Jack in the Box French fries. At a C, we have the Wendy's French fries. At an A, we have the Burger King fries and the McDonald's fries, kind of. And here's why, is that the, the Burger King fries are definitely at an A. They surprised me, they really, really did. I'm putting them, these fries at an A. These McDonald's fries is at an A. Normally, McDonald's fries would be at an S tier. I think Ms. McDonald's fries has some of the consistently the best fries in the game. Now, we flip it around on its head a little bit. The reverse of this, today's in and out fries do take the championship for today's fries with an S tier, but normally they're hot sewage dog water. They're so bad, they're so flaccid, unenjoyable unless you get the animal style, which is just a vehicle for that other stuff. Normally, I would be rating in and out fries at C tier. Anyway, I'm ending this video. You can tell how long I've been filming this by the sun and at the rate that it's dropping. So I've got to go pee so bad. So I'm going to go home. I'm going to pee. I hope that you enjoyed this journey. I really hope that this video is funny and good because I'm kind of afraid because the concept itself is just me eating fries. So hopefully it was funny. If you want more stuff like this, leave a like because that lets me know that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming along today on this journey. I will see you guys. I'll see you guys next year. <laughs>